Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Y Jesús se acercó y les habló diciendo, Toda potestad me es dada en el cielo y en la tierra. Por tanto, id y haced discípulos a todas las naciones, bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Enseñándoles que guarden todas las cosas que os he mandado. Y he aquí, yo estoy con vosotros todos los días hasta el fin del mundo. Amén. Hey everyone, we're the singers. I'm Andrew and this is my wife MC and we're living in Guatemala. Now we're going to share some interesting fun facts about Guatemala with you guys. Now first off, the Guatemala national bird is called the Quetzal. And the money in Guatemala, the currency, is named after the Quetzal. So all of their money is called Quetzales. Another fun fact about Guatemala is there's these huge school buses everywhere. They are decked out, painted from front to back with really cool names on each one of them. Anyway, most people here use them for transportation and they have a very unique nickname, Chicken Bus. This is because sometimes people bring their chickens on these buses. Do you guys want to go see them? Let's go look. Another fun 
fun facts we have for you is Guatemala has 33 volcanoes. The tallest one is 13,850 feet tall. That's about 50 football fields. Also, there's a volcano right behind me. It's called Agua, which means water. Among the many cultures here in Guatemala, there is one thing that unites them. That there's their kindness and their generosity. And they are very family oriented people. Here's a little bit of history about Guatemala. Now about 600 years ago, the Spanish landed here to find that there were already people here. It was an ancient Mayan civilization. They built a bunch of pyramids and ancient ruins, and uh, they had their own culture. Now the Spanish brought with them their culture, which is a Catholic culture, and the two cultures kind of intertwined, and a bunch of other cultures are here that have uh, kind of sprung up out of that. As Andrew was sharing, the Spaniards had a huge influence on the Mayans here in Guatemala. Today, the official language of Guatemala is Spanish. However, there are 22 other Mayan language, languages spoken here in Guatemala. Those languages can most likely be found in the more rural areas of Guatemala. Well, have you guys had fun seeing a little bit of Guatemala and learning a little bit about Guatemala? And those fun facts about Guatemala were pretty cool too. Did you guys like those chicken buses? They're awesome. Um, but one of the main reasons why we're here in Guatemala is because Guatemala is a third world country, which means there's a lot of people here um, that are in great need. Just imagine what it, what it would be like if you went a whole day without food and you didn't know when the next time you're going to eat was. Or if you had to cook your dinner over a fire. Or if you didn't have a bed to sleep on or clothes to wear or a toothbrush or even shoes. Or if you had to walk to school miles just to get there and home again. God calls us in his word to love other people and to put their interests above ours. I'm going to read to you guys a verse in Philippians um, chapter 2. It's verses 4 through 5. It says this, Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. Now, Jesus has set an example for us by putting us above himself and coming down to earth and dying on a cross for us. And this, he showed his love for us. And so, in the same way, we can show other people God's love when we humble ourselves, uh, when we serve them, and we put their needs above ours. That's one of the main reasons why we're here in Guatemala. We are showing people the gospel in word and in action. And so Mission Impact, uh, the nonprofit organization that we partner with, uh, does this in many ways. We do preach the gospel to people. We are discipling people, We're walking beside them, showing them God's word, and showing them what it looks like to follow Jesus. But we're also being God's hands and feet to them. Going to them, giving them a stove that they can cook on instead of a fire that, they'll, that, they're, that they cook their dinners on, which actually puts off a lot of smoke and it gets into their lungs um, and it hurts them. Uh, we teach people skills that will help them get jobs here in Guatemala. Uh, we teach people um, in schools. We have th three schools uh, where we educate kids and young adults um, in skills to help them get jobs. And so uh, what we're doing is we're bringing the hands and feet of Jesus around us. That is one of the main things that we do here in Mission Impact. We also lead um, Bible studies with locals to help them understand um, God's Word better, to help them um, follow Jesus uh, more faithfully. And um, we're just here to serve. And so um, that's what we do here. MC and I actually um, work at Beeline Wheelchairs, which is Mission Impact's wheelchair factory. Now, Beeline, now at Beeline, we give away free wheelchairs to people who need them. People who have carried their kids around with them um, their whole lives so far and it, it's hurt them 
Uh, it's, it's hurt the parents that have been carrying the kids. Uh, it's not good for the kids because as they grow, uh, they have many conditions that they end up uh, developing uh, because they, they're not seated prop properly in an orthopedic chair. And so these kids come in um, having had a terrible life so far um, where they're not mobile, um, where they're, they have these different conditions that they've developed and it's causing them pain. Um, they leave with a wheelchair. They, they're able to be mobile. Um, their parents are able to wheel them around or the kids are even able to wheel themselves around. And so at Beeline we have, we even have people working at Beeline who are in wheelchairs, uh, who know what it's like to be in a wheelchair, to live a life um, in a wheelchair. And so they are able, they are there to help these kids and these families um, walk through this process. And so uh, what we're really focusing on is the people who are um, really forgotten about in a lot of society. Um, the people who are um, maybe on the outskirts of what most people think about when they think about um, normal people. Um, we're here to reach them. We're here to reach them with the Word of God, um, with the Gospel, with the love of Jesus. Um, we do that in many ways here at Mission Impact, uh, but we're so thankful that, that you guys have partnered with us in that. And we just want to finish with this Northwood Academy. You can make a difference in this world, whether you're in South Carolina, Guatemala, or anywhere else in the world. If you love God, trust Him, and in are obedient to Him, He is faithful and He will be able to work through you and He will call you according to His purpose. Well, this is the end of our time together, Northwood. We just want to thank you guys so much for coming to check out um, us and what we do here in Guatemala. Um, thank you guys for thinking about us, for praying about us, for supporting us. Um, we are just so thankful for um, Northwood Academy who has a heart for missions um, all around the globe. Uh, we know that um, your treasure is great in heaven. And um, so we just want to thank you guys for everything that you've done, everything that you continue to do. And until next time, adios! adios.